everyone, and welcome to another episode of Performance Talks. Today, we put the spotlight on India's first omni-channel jewelry brand that's created waves across the Indian startup ecosystem over the last decade. Their powerful growth strategy has made them a household name, and we can't wait to hear more about their journey. It gives me enormous pleasure to welcome Avnish Anand, co-founder and CEO of Carrot Lane. Avnish, let me jump right in. Carrot Lane is an omni-channel retail company, loved and admired by its customers in the industry for its incredible growth story and a branch that's really digital first. You know, it would be great to hear you know, more about your strategy and your journey and the role that uh, Meta has particularly played in this. So if I, I'll first tell you what we have tried to do over the years. Uh, when we look at our marketing and also some of our omni-channel parts, see, it was very important for us to use mediums where we could create desire through the visual medium because jewelry is like that. Uh, we also wanted to make sure that we were very targeting a certain kind of customer with a lot of precision. You know, we, we chase customers based on certain occasions, certain relationships. Uh, then we also wanted to make sure that uh, whatever medium we were, we were using, while it was good from a visual desire creation, it should also help us with the commerce part. It should connect, you know, the rest of the omni-channel funnel properly. Uh, we also wanted to make sure that, you know, we were, we also wanted to understand a certain kind of behavior which allowed us to target people specifically. Because, you know, while you think about it, while a lot of other businesses target crores of customers, we are still in a slightly higher price point category, so you can't get lakhs and lakhs of customers like that. So targeting people, uh, then the other thing which you do is that we identify people based on pin codes. So we wanted to make sure that all our marketing energy and money was going in a certain set of pin codes. Uh, the way we try and do remarketing is also done in a certain way because unlike a lot of other categories, you can't convert a customer in one visit. It needs multiple visits to go from desire creation to discovery and shortlisting, then a store visit. And I think that uh, what Meta with their multiple solutions brings to the table has helped us do a lot of these things. Caraclean has been an early adopter of Reels and creator marketing. Could you tell us about the role that Reels has played in your marketing strategy? And equally, as a performance-focused company, what role have creators played in driving consideration and purchase for Caraclean? So I'll tell you again to uh, give a little context from our business that we target customers, like I said, based on multiple occasions, multiple jobs from the JTBT type, multiple type of relationships. In addition, you know, we have different types of collections inspired by different inspirations, different services and solutions which we create for customers. So there are different stories we want to tell customers, right? Different types of stories. I think what the Reels and the creator ecosystem allows us to do is to create a lot of interesting stories which we want to tell our customers. I think, uh, you know, we cannot have the kind of uh, system in-house where all of this can be done internally. So I think from a content creation, so that these stories are available, I think it does a big role. So as we get into 2024, what are some of the consumer trends you are seeing, you know, as a leading commerce jewelry player? And what role do you think Meta can, you know, play in really helping you on this journey? See, one thing uh, which I think is not a new trend, which is the use of WhatsApp, right? The second thing is obviously that as a brand, we are going deeper and deeper into the heart of this country, right? Smaller and smaller towns. Uh, we are also trying to reach out to different types of customers, all of whom uh, might not be as, uh, I would say, digital savvy. I would not call it internet savvy. So I think one thing obviously is that more capabilities to the way we target people. We are also betting big on, you know, finding more micro occasions. Uh, so, you know, the more proxies you can find yeah. for those micro occasions, it will really help us. Mm -hmm. uh, but coming back to the WhatsApp part, see, our, like I said, right, it takes multiple visits for a customer to convert or even go to the store. So there are a lot of conversations which happen even before a customer comes to the store. We have seen that a lot of other options which are available like email and SMS have a kind of not as effective as they would be earlier. And uh, WhatsApp also allows for a lot of visual, right? You can send videos, etc. Tell me, so do you think, uh, therefore, you know, like if, would it be wrong to say like, you would you visualize WhatsApp as an additional new surface that you have to completely build, you know, apart from know, that? Absolutely. And where, do, where would you think we are on that journey today? See, we are uh, very early in that journey. I'll give you one use case. Uh, use case is a customer, you know, the way a person browses on the website. You use filters and you shortlist products. You see all their details and uh, then you kind of shortlist something. 
imagine if all of this was possible in whatsapp imagine if they can actually use filters and browse do the store discovery do the where is the product available discovery connect with the store set up an appointment block inventory you know we actually we have help we are doing a lot of it on our post sales journey but i think a lot of it if it is kind of thought from scratch from grounds up and built in the pre sales ecosystem i think that is something which at least for our business because it needs a lot of conversations it will really help thanks so much avnish for the incredible insights that you shared with us i'm wishing caratlin much more success in the times to come and look forward to partnering with you guys very closely on all the aspects that we discuss in the future as well thank you thank you arun and we also look forward to the same uh, it's been a great journey with you guys and we hope to continue doing that